this is the leading edge of the cold air. So anywhere behind that is where you will have the colder temperatures. And look, this front travels into the northeast and off the coast as we head into our Saturday. That's when it's going to be deep into the northeast. Only three in Saranac Lake. But this is good news for those of you who actually enjoy winter sports. And Mike, so many people have not been able to enjoy their winter sports yet. That's right, because we've been just lacking that cold air and we've been lacking the snow for sure. But this is going to be the first taste for some of you to get out there maybe this weekend and hit the slopes. But for some, the slopes aren't enough. As our Julie Martin explains, they need that extreme adrenaline rush. If the overall lack of winter has got you down, brace yourself for an adrenaline rush. While most drivers avoid ice, ice racers live for it. The sport is widely popular in Europe, Canada, and the northern tier of the U.S. Brave drivers typically slap studded tires on any type of vehicle and floor it on a slippery track. Courses are usually a couple of miles long, and top speeds can reach 70 miles per hour or more. Okay, guys, line them up! Ice boaters would rather feel the stinging wind as they're tearing across a frozen lake. Yeah, the sport has been around since the 1800s and is big in the northern U.S. Boaters look for hard, thick ice with a little water on top for the best glide. And since they can typically move two to three times the speed of the wind, the higher, the better. Once it gets in your blood, you're going full speed, it's, it's amazing. Hella skiers are true adventure seekers. Brave passengers are choppered to mountaintops where they can enjoy untouched terrains on the ride down. The sport is usually reserved for intermediate to advanced skiers who are ready for an extreme change of scenery and a rush courtesy of the unknown. I'm meteorologist Julie Martin, the Weather Channel. Let's learn more about ice racing because it sounds pretty awesome if you ask me. John Subic is a president of the Adirondack Motor Enthusiast Club and joins us live now from Skype in Johnstown, New York. John, thanks so much for being with us. We got a little taste there of ice racing, but do you need a special car? Can anyone do it? How, how do you get the car? No, you don't need a special car. We got a street legal class that you show up with a helmet and a fire extinguisher and you can race. <laughs> oh, a helmet and a fire extinguisher. That That's sounds it. exciting. So how thick does the ice have to be in order to do this? Uh, we need 12 inches plus of ice to go out and feel safe. Talk about yeah. where we have 12 inches of ice right now that you can do this. Well, right at the moment, all the lakes that we use and race on are uh, about nine inches. So we need another three to four inches before we can race in we just got four inches of snow, um, so that's going to slow it down a little bit. So probably in a week or two, we'll be racing. So what are the ideal conditions? Uh, ideally, it would be no snow, cold, and lots of ice. Do you, you know, guys have like a, a pit stop, you know, the, like they do in NASCAR, where you change tires and all that? No, nope, we don't do that. We have, uh, it usually runs like a 20 to 30 minute heat race. And, um, you know, then it's plenty of time, you know, a lot of seat time they get three races during the day plus practice. So there's a lot of seat time for the money. What age do you have to be to do this? Ah, uh, 16 on up. That sounds yeah, pretty we, good. We got guys, well, actually we got them from 14 to 80 years old out racing right now. Well, I tell you, I can't wait. So as soon as that ice is thick enough, John, if I can get up there, I'm coming up. I don't know if I have to check a fire extinguisher. I don't think I can bring that on my carry-on. Coming up next, we 